my name is Tracia, I'm Tracia Xiong, and I study in Shanghai International Studies University. My name is Yuan Bo, and I'm also from Shanghai International Studies University. My name is Shen Shu Hao, I major in Hungarian, minor in English. My name is Shi Wenxuan, and you can call me Karen. I am from Shanghai International Studies University. Xiu. As far as I know, in other compulsory programs of our university, um, students mainly go to school with other Chinese students or students of the same age. But um, I heard that in SOS, we're going to like have postgraduates, like PhD students, undergraduates. They all mix together and learn. I saw the list of courses that SOAS provided and I thought, wow, that's very adventurous. So I'm just wondering how would a three-week session do to ex try to explain these matters, for example, like Middle East or understanding Africa? I really like the fact that many of my fellow classmates come from very diverse, very different cultural backgrounds. And I think it's more than the courses, what it it, it brings to me. I've never seen a library that has such a diverse collection of foreign cultures and languages and about international um, laws and organizations. The, the diversity in the library kind of shows me the varied, the varied opinions that it could accept in a university and that's really f refreshing. And of course, I knew about, you know, the fame of SOAS, it being a very multicultural, a very diverse and international university. So I came here. It's actually a compulsory course for us to take part in international summer course. And we had many choices to make, Cambridge, Oxford, Georgetown, but we all think SOAS is the best. The teaching and learning strategy is quite different from that in China because back there um, we are mainly having lectures and it's mainly the teacher who's doing the talking. But here in SOAS, especially about the tutorial part, like everyone is given their suggestions and opinions. Everybody just feel free to exchange ideas and visions and their own experiences. Like when the teacher asks about uh, gender-based violence, everyone can contribute an idea from their country, their organization, so that everyone can learn really a lot. It's like a big melting pot and you, every one of you put different elements into that pot. If you take part in this session, what you can get is not only that knowledge, you can get a different experience, you can learn African drums. Your teacher will lead you to a visit to many galleries and museums. I myself uh, went to a lot of theaters. I took part in the banner making session. How these banners would work as a sign of a certain social movement was explained to us. You have a feeling that that image is trying to convey a part of her ideals to you. There is a kind of combination of what we learn theor theoretically and what we are actually doing. Yeah, those activities were amazing. The people here in SOAS has this kind of special quality that can transcend their difference and to work together for the good of mankind. I'm really considering working in an NGO after I graduate from university because when I get along with these people who actually work there, I was really admiring their experience. I would definitely choose to um, have my master's degrees or PhDs here in SOAS because um, according to my summer school experiences, SOAS is worth it. The life in SOAS here is really and changing part of my life because I get to know more about the world, know more about the world I didn't used to know. So I would really commend, recommend every one of us to join here. Like source, right? Like here, it's right. Thank you.